Martin, what would it mean to you um, beating Tyson Fury, Billy Joe Saunders, and becoming the first traveller to win a world title? Oh, that would be a good one. You know, Tyson's been knocking on the door for a long time, and he's, he, he, he'll, he'll get there, he will win it, you know, and Billy Joe Saunders, he's, uh, he's, he, he won't be too far off. But I've jumped the queue, haven't I? I've, I, I've stepped right in there and got, uh, got the chance to become the first one. Uh, it'd, be, <laughs> it'd be brilliant. What would that mean for you in the travelling community? You know, uh, it, it just it, it's uh, it's a well known thing that uh, the travel community they, they like a bit of a scrap. I mean, they all they all, they all watch boxing, they all love boxing. So if you could uh, present yourself on an Appleby horse fair saying you're the champion of the world, you know, well you have uh, a lot of respect, wouldn't you? Is that your ambition? Go to Appleby horse yeah, fair with your belt. Bring the belt along along to the horse fair and show everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that, that that would be some achievement, I tell you. But it's a tough it's a tough ask, isn't it? Beating Stuart Hall. Stewie Hall's a very good fighter, a very good performer, solid man, you know, he, uh, and obviously he knows what it takes to win a world title. That fight against Meninga was brutal, and the heart he showed in there and, and determination to win it was, I can't, can't fault the man, but I have sparred with him, I've known him a long time, and I know how to beat him. And how do you beat him? I have to wait and see that one, you have to wait, wait, wait and see. Uh, look, uh, Stewie Hall, he knows, he knows as well this fight's not, not a gimme for him. I know a lot of people be thinking, Martin Ward, he doesn't deserve a shot at the title. He's never been heard of. We've never seen him do anything. Sure, all knows different. He he knows what he's got to do, and he 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 picked up on that. And the press conference, he said he's not going to leave no stone unturned, and I believe he won't. You know, he is a champion, and uh, he's going to want to keep that title. But uh, I'll give you right hand to, to to win it. And if I've got a break on on Shuey's head on the night, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll I'll give everything I've got to do to win. You touched on it there. People, you know, some people have questioned whether you should be getting this opportunity. Uh, but what do you say to those critics? You know, uh, I, I beat some good fighters, you know, uh, along the way. I, I boxed six opponents that Stewie Hall's boxed, you know, uh, and I, I've beaten them all Baron Haskins. He beat them all Baron Haskins, you know. I, I also beat uh, Jason Booth, who he fought for the world title at Super Bantamweight against Molitor and probably could have won it on the night. So I've, I've beat some good names as well along the way. It's not as if I've been uh, having uh, gimmies, you know. And I did box... I boxed at lightweight when I, when I first turned pro. So I'm, I'm a band away, I boxed at lightweight. So, you know, people do say I don't deserve the shot, but um, hopefully when I, when, I, when, I, when I box on the 9th and uh, the 29th and don't disgrace myself, win, lose, or draw, as long as I put a good performance on, people will finally say, well, you know, that lad did deserve a shot, fair play. You beat Larry Yeh to become Commonwealth champion. What has that victory done to boost you, your confidence? It's, I've always had the confidence. It's just, it's, it's, it's it sort of got like a monkey off my back, really, because you know, I boxed Haskins and uh, got stopped prematurely. I don't think the fight should have been stopped, you know, and that was my big chance, and it, it 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 broke me out really. So to get another shot in the same year and then finally win the title, you know, that's that's really made me think well, like things are possible. And then you get the phone call to fight for a world title. I've never left the gym. When did you know this was in the pipeline? This fight. Well, once I won the Commonwealth belt, and obviously I had uh, I had a little bit of cre credentials then, so I was Commonwealth champion. I was half I was praying for Stuart to beat him. I wanted him to win anyway because he was a Northern lad, but I really wanted him to win then because I thought this could happen. It will be history in the Northeast, and this could happen. But it was like it was more dreams really than actual actually happening. And then obviously you know I got the phone call off uh, Neil Fannin. He said uh, Dave's been talking to Dennis, and it, it could happen. So I was like, oh, amazing. And then a fortnight ago, you know, Dennis was on the phone and said, yeah, it's happening. So, <laughs> living in dream world at the minute, but I have to get that out of my head and forget about dream world and get on with the job and, and, and try and do a job. Was it a fight where you said, yes, I'll take it before you even asked about money? Yeah, listen, the money don't mean nothing. The money I'm getting paid with is, is pennies to what some of them get. But the chance of fight for world title, you don't turn them down. They don't come along every day. You've got to grab them with both hands. And like I said in the press conference, I'll fight Stewie all for a Northern Area title or a six rounder. It doesn't bother me. I know how, I know I can beat him. I know I can beat him. You come across as a sort of fellow would fight anybody. Yeah, I box anybody. It don't make no difference. Boxing's boxing. You know, I love it. I've been doing it since I was ten year old. You know, uh, all the way through the schoolboy championships. You know, winning titles is what what makes fighters. You know, and I've boxed every level for England through uh, through my amateur career. Then turned pro, and I told Neil Fanning then I said I'll fight anybody. You know, and. Uh, Unfortunately, he, 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 he did make me fight everybody. He made me fight light welterweights, you know. Mickey called me, caught me with a, a decent shot. But, uh, you know, you live and learn by mistakes like that there. Now I'm, I'm at the right way, bantamweight. And uh, I've only boxed eight times about bantamweight. I've stopped four of, the, four of the eight that I boxed. So, you know, I found my right weight. And uh, I'm, like I said in there, it's a big predicament to make. But 
if things go right on the night, me and Shuey all could be in, in, in the, the fight of the year. And your prediction? Uh, Martin Moore wins. Uh, I'd like to say a stoppage, but Shuey all is very tough, so I'd say a wide point, point margin. <laughs>